Hello. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. Oh, you're not wait, late at all. I was just very excited to finally have a guest. Yes, I read your email. It said that you'd wish to become a vampire as well. I don't know how you found me, but I suppose me putting an ad on the deep web saying I could transform you into a vampire and leave my phone number would, you know, be a, be the reasonable explanation. Oh, yes, of course. Um, well, I am a young vampire, meaning, well, I'm 200 years old, but it's not until you're 500 years old that you can just bite somebody and turn them into a vampire. One moment. I'm very sorry about the extra noise. Even as a vampire, you have to do the laundry, and apparently my laundry machine, whatever you guys call it, um, wants to be very loud. It's normally quiet, but I think it's because I overfilled it. Anyways, as I was saying, until you're 500 years old, you can't just bite somebody and have them become a vampire. There is a long, rigorous process in creating your own creation. So, I made a little voodoo doll of you. It has a keychain, which you'll be taking home, and you have to hang it somewhere. But you don't need that yet. First, may I offer you some water? No? Okay, then I will drink it. So what you can expect is you will be very, very tired and sore. So I'd highly suggest taking a few days off of work or school, whatever you attend. Let me move that. And then, sorry about my dress. Apparently it doesn't want to stay how it's supposed to there um, off of take a few days off of whatever you attend say you have the flu or something you'll be sick for about a week and a half which is about the runtime of a typical flu and then you'll get the hunger which is for blood now a lot of people believe that you automatically want human blood that's not true you can have dog blood cat blood any sort of blood when i first became a vampire i was not aware that i didn't have to drink human blood so i did which was not as tasty as people say i suppose we all have different tastes but i did not like human blood uh, you also run the risk of catching many diseases. People say, oh, vampires can't get diseases. That's not true. I, I got a disease before. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what disease. Um, but, yeah, vampires can get diseases. So if you're going to bite somebody, you want to make sure you know their medical record completely. But I normally stick to just... I'm what's called a, a vegetarian vampire, I'm, sh I'm sure you heard of them on Twilight. Um, I mainly just drink animal blood, which I find a lot more tasty. I don't drink my pet's blood, just so you know. I normally drink um, cow blood or chicken blood. You can buy all of this at the store at a butcher, so that's, that's very nice. But you might get a hunger for human blood, and if that happens, you kind of have to do it. You can't ignore it. It's not like a craving where you could go work out and your craving would be gone, or you could replace it with something else. It is... you have to, or else you'll be very, very irritable, and you could become a murderous vampire, which in that case, oh, all the vampire hunters would be after you. There's no vampire hunters yet, but I'm assuming if a murderous vampire came, then there would be a few. But anyways, as I was talking about earlier, there is a very rigorous process in becoming a vampire by me, a youngling. Yes, once you're 500 years old, you're basically an adult in the vampire world. So you can transform people, you can turn into a bat, you can... I think... I've heard of a story of a vampire being able to time travel, but I don't think that's true. If they could, they could change a lot in the past, but I don't know. I'm not them. Um, but as a young vampire, you'll only be a year old. The only perks you'll have is you won't need to sleep, which is very helpful. 
and you won't be able to die except for you know, being burnt at the stake or getting a, anything through the heart. People think just a wooden stake. That was back in the old days. You get, you don't, you don't die if you get shot in the heart, but if you get stabbed in the heart or impaled through the heart, you'll die. So protect your heart at all cost. I don't see much, <laughs> much stabbing violence in the country we live in, in America. So you should be fine. So here's the first of the process. So we're going to take shells out. They're three different sizes, the large, the medium, and the small. They all fit in together perfectly. And I'm going to read you a passage from this tiny book called The Moon. If I can remember what page it is on. The moon is falling out of its little packet thing. Okay. And before we start, I need you to hold on to this poker chip. Yes, yes. I know it's odd, but you must. The man who has seen the rising moon break out of the clouds at midnight has been present like an archangel at the creation of the light and of the world. Now you might be wondering why we read that. That is one of the many, many, many spells you can use to turn into a vampire. Of course, it doesn't work if you're not a vampire. A lot of people think, oh, it has to be some satanic quote. But no. There's also another one that I would like. It, it's two. It's Old English rhyme and Latin proverb. Um, this is just to ensure that it works. So it says, Pale moon doth rain, red moon doth blow, white moon doth neither rain nor snow. That was the Latin. And then it says, Clear moon, frost soon. That's Old English. So, you might be thinking, oh, won't that turn me into a werewolf because we're talking about the moon? No, we get most of our power from the moon. And people like Twilight who claim that we hate werewolves, why would we hate the other supernatural or occult? The dog just choked, but he's okay. Supernatural or occult members of society, we all need to get along. We don't need that right now. This we will be using. So it is. it was an actual crocodile skull, but then all its teeth fell out. Well, there's a couple teeth, but I lost all it, its other teeth. I'm sure they're in my box somewhere. But I'm going to put this on. <laughs> Apparently I broke it, but that's okay. It doesn't need to be wrapped around like a necklace, it just needs to be attached to the body somehow. I could have tied it in my hair for all that it matters. And I need you to hold this rock. Now, again, with this, you might be thinking, what is with these weird items? This rock is the rock that was used to create me. Now, creation... Creation, I said that weird. Creation back in the day I was created, like a very, very long time ago, was a lot more painful than now. The vampires advanced like how technology advanced, and they thought it'd be very smart to change me by putting vampire blood on this and then making me swallow it, and then them cutting it out of my stomach. Well, that was very painful. I almost died from an infection before I even became a vampire. I'm still very, very, very upset about it. Just talking about it gets me angry. Anyhow, I'm going to attach it to this. This has my blood and the master vampire's blood on it. And the reason why it says master is because master vampires are just vampires over the age of 500. Right now we're juveniles with, well, you're not anything yet, but right now I'm considered a juvenile, <laughs> a juvenile, which, anyways, 
as you can see, I'm not a huge fan of all these labels for vampirism. So, are you a Sagittarius? No. Aquarius? No. Virgo? No. Scorpio? Aries? Libra? Leo? Cancer? Gemini? Tar Taurus? Taurus? I can't say that one. Pisces? Capricorn? Which one are you? Hang on one moment. Okay, so you are a Cancer. So your lucky number is four. One moment. I need to I need to gather my cards. Yes. This is the quickest way. Without it being all too rigorous. So lucky number four. Pluto, no. Saturn, no. Moon, no. Venus, no. Jupiter, no. Mars, no. Uranus, no. Mercury, perfect. Sun, no. Neptune, no. I am very sorry. My shirt is falling. Pluto. I believe that is all that we got for that number, but let's check real quick. Okay. Don't look at the back of these cards yet. Oh, that one had a naked lady, so good thing I checked. One moment, I have to look at the other cards. I just realized I don't know just by looking at them what ones they are. I guess we'll put that with it. There's no number next to it. Three. We have that one. Jack. If there's an ace, that would be very, very nice. Oh. Oh, wrong symbol. This one has no number on it either. Jack. King. Or ten. I was way off. King. I must have went past them. Hang on. Yes, it's a lot of work, okay? I did not think you were going to come this early. <sighs> Seven? No. Eight? No. Four? No. You know what? I think we'll be fine with not having them match precisely. We'll give you the ace. I can't even find another six. That's weird. Okay, so for this process, I need to read you your cards. Now, it would have been a lot quicker have I been able to find the other cards. Let me put this in there. The rock, hold the rock tightly. Oh. Seashells go closer to you. So, we got... I lost where I put the other cards, everybody. I think I just put them in the pack, but that's okay. Oh, it was on the back of the other card. So let me flip them. Okay, so you are a Cancer, which means your lucky number is four. The favorable planet is Mercury. You might be asking, why do I need to know this? This is because you need to worship Mercury whenever you do, and your unfavorable planet is Pluto. You need to avoid that at all costs, for the simple reason that it can drain your powers. Now, I know you're thinking, Pluto doesn't come near us. I mean, worshipping Pluto. Some people don't believe these cards, and thus become very ill very quickly when you become a vampire. Witches follow the same sort of quota, as well as werewolves, though a majority of werewolves, depending on the pack, just follow the moon. We have a couple that follow the blood moon, or a harvest moon, or the toenail moon, I think it's called. Or crescent moon, but, and of course the full moon, but 
<sighs> Anyways, so, your unfavorable planet says, The Six of Wands, success over enemies, good news about an undertaking. Oh, op obstacles to plan, betrayals by friend. So, I highly suggest not telling anybody you became a vampire. I have to bless your little doll. And then your favorable is success in business or career, good for partnership and partnership matters. And on the set, uh oh, it also says betrayal of by a friend. Check all positions carefully. That is never good when you get two of the same. Um, so please avoid a certain friend that you don't believe to be safe as long as you can. Yes, whenever I put my hand over it after reading a card, that means I'm blessing it. And then, Cancer, which is lucky number four, it says, This card is of good fortune. The card greatly improves fortune of cards around it. Well, that's not true because we've seen those ones. And it says, Undeserved virtues that come with corruption. It sounds to me as if you're going to have some sort of money laundering issue soon but th these cards all go home with you I can buy a new deck one moment okay so I was trying to find the cards the numbers that match on the cards but I couldn't so I just got the ones that closely <laughs> resembled it so the sar the sards <laughs> the three is the Three of Swords. I started reading the other one, which says the loss of a lover, sorrow and disappointment. And it says great disillusionment, disorder and confusion. Oh dear. And the sun is the key. Apologies. Which says happy reunion, successful marriage or partnership, a good omen. Well, obviously that is not true based on the back side of it, and unfortunately we were following this side. So if you're dating somebody, that won't be good. This one is a good one, which is Strong Religious Convict Social Premonition. And it says, caught it, on the bottom, subject to slander, easily taken advantage of. And this is the Hierophant. Herofant. I can't say the word. I'm sure you know what I'm trying to say. And um, this side doesn't matter. The other side doesn't matter. But this one is a very good one. The slander thing is making me truly believe you're going to be in some sort of corruption that you don't even know about yet. So please be careful with business. And then the final card, which uh, is not a good one is key 13 which is death it says the start of a new beginnings off with the old and in with the new the end of a situation or association radical change now this card is very true to you because you're becoming a vampire let me do the final blessing and with that we end our first session together you might be thinking wow what the hell did I come here for? This session was super short. It didn't even have anything to do with me. It definitely did. You'll start feeling a bit ill very soon. Let me get that feel. You mustn't lose that. If you lose that, you will just die. You won't become a vampire. Oh, I forgot I put the cards in there. You won't become a vampire. You'll just die. And of course there won't be any cause to it because people don't know what vampires do when they die so they'll just think you got murdered which would be very bad for your family to believe and these I'm taking back but don't worry you will see them next time you're here and before you go, please remember not to tell anybody of our meeting, because that will put us all in danger, okay? Okay, I will see you soon. Don't forget this guy. And please contact me in exactly one business week, and we will finish your transformation.
Okay, goodbye.